Bring me D. I am thirsty from fucking my camel in the anus. I'm starving also. Goddamn desert in this heat. I'm going to dial a kebab. Hello, we wish for camel kebab. Bring kebab. Kebab kebab. And throw in some poppadums too. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and a little sneak behind the curtain. I actually created this video before the actual release of this version because I was in the test and as you can see in my hands I have an IED. Fantastic. I want to say to you these things are loud and big. I'm not joking. So as the insurgents I'm going to be placing this down. You literally just select it and where it's green it means you can place it so I'm gonna put this at the side of the road as you can zombie hands as you can see some of the sound effects and things are still a little bit needed to be updated and we hide in the bushes we dial a bomb hold on to your turbans holy shit Now, what I can tell you is, if you're infantry, or if you're in a vehicle, and this thing goes off near you, you better make sure your headphones are not on loud, boy. <laughs> That's all I can say. Holy crap, is all I can say. Turn the bass down on your motherfucking speakers. You are going to be deaf. And that's exactly how we love it. As you can see here, we also have some anti-tank mines put the fuse in the top and there you go and just as a little test you cannot explode this with any sort of traditional weapon I haven't actually tested this yet with an RPG like that but it really is going to be pressure on that top plate in order for a vehicle to drive over that and as I'm actually in the actual test server on my own I can't actually show you any test footage of that but believe me it's just as big if not slightly bigger than the boom and it will take every vehicle out barring the striker I think uh, but it puts it a massive amount of damage so it will actually take the vehicle out as well so as we are out in the desert and we're waiting for our camel piss flap kebab to arrive we're gonna dial a jihadi bomb again and we're gonna test some actual damage on the actual vehicles as you can see when I place the mine down it is actually on the map so this possibly means that friendly fire well you're gonna have to find out when you get in your team if they go all over a bomb it's gonna suck as you can see if I move the mouse as well down at the bottom right it now tells you the coordinates of where your mouse is E7 keypad 8 3 a nice little feature fantastic feature in there it's all starting to come together. I do wish there was the ability to go directly to some of these weapons, having to scroll through three different times to actually get to the ID or the mine. Maybe they could put that on the keypad, you know, one to nine. Although I know we've got that in now for the squad leader radio, so maybe there is a function to that. But let's go up here, blow these vehicles up and see if there's any actual splash damage. Now I'm going to slow it down because what you may not have noticed is the amount of uh, uh, the blast, the actual shock wave that comes from this, as you'll see it blasts out towards the it goes really quite far out, so any infantry or anything within that blast radius, it is game over. I mean, just look at that, that is absolutely fantastic. And wait till you start integrating this into your own dedicated class of just IED bomb makers and going out there, it's going to be amazing. So let's come over here and I'll just have a look at some of the damage. Oops, I always press the wrong key. I can't actually get this vehicle. But let's just come up. As you can see, it's taken three vehicles out. And dis almost destroyed this second one, or this fourth one, over to my left. So the blast radius on this is huge. Any vehicle that's in that blast radius, or any groups of infantry as a close-knit squad, you're going to have to keep your distance. Now, I wanted to put this little extra section in for the mortars because on the range, the actual mortars, 
they work perfectly. As you can see on the map here, we're going to try and put some mortars down into this compound down here, down near the apartments. And as you can see, if we move the map slightly, each square is 100 meters. You can see it down there. 100 meters per square. So if we take our position here and we count them diagonally because they're 100 meters squared, I reckon that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, probably about 500 plus hours, about 580 possibly over to this center part or even down at this section here would be one two three four five around 500 meters although it seems a lot closer physically to me now than 500 meters and what tends to happen is now as I actually get onto the mortars I'm just gonna have another quick check of the map as we get on and start launching the mortars the rounds are hitting way 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 into that compound further out and not actually landing where I would expect them to. So I'm just going to double check it again. 100. So for given they're about 80 meters further up from there, it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, about 580 by my reckoning. Although probably from looking back at it now, it's probably around 480. But if I get in here and actually launch some mortars now, downrange into this, squad leader said to me, there's a load of Taliban down there. I want you to take them out. I want turbans to be flying around. Destroy the bastards. So I'm going to set this based on the mills on this range. And we're going to launch three of them. And as you'll see, they're bloody miles away. The quiet before the storm. It's approximately around 20 seconds before splash. So that is something for you to bear in mind. Hope you've enjoyed this and certainly you're going to enjoy the next release of Squad. I've been Paraplayers and this is me running into a compound like a true para under mortifier. See you in another video, coming real soon.